Have you ever stopped to think how long it would take to reach Mars if you could simply hop in your car and drive there on an interplanetary highway at 100 kilometers per hour, just like you were on a normal road? The answer is surprising. In fact, there is a car drifting alone in deep space. It sounds like science fiction, but it isn't. That car exists, and it has been traveling through the solar system for years. We're talking about Starman, a mannequin wearing a spacesuit, seated in a red Tesla Roadster, launched by SpaceX in February 2018. On board, there's no fuel, no engine running, no GPS, no wheels touching the ground, just silence, cosmic dust, and the absurd speed at which it was placed into orbit. Starman was launched as a bold gesture by Elon Musk. At the time, SpaceX wanted to show the world that the Falcon Heavy, the most powerful rocket in operation, could carry large payloads beyond Earth's orbit. So, instead of sending concrete blocks or boring test cargo, Musk chose something memorable, putting a car in space. And that's exactly what he did. Today, Starman has already covered billions of kilometers. It orbits the Sun on an elliptical path that at times crosses Earth's orbit, and at others comes close to Mars's orbit, alone, with no destination, simply following the relentless physics of gravity and inertia. And the most curious part? It's still out there, intact, or at least what remains of it since solar radiation, micrometeorites, and exposure to space have likely deteriorated much of the paint, the leather seats, and even the mannequin itself. Even so, the symbol endures. When it was launched, the Tesla Roadster reached an impressive speed of about 120,000 kilometers per hour. It's a speed that defies our imagination. For reference, an ordinary car on Earth averages around 100 kilometers per hour on a highway. The difference is so vast, it's almost absurd. Starman travels more than a thousand times faster than any passenger car. To put that in perspective, in just one hour, Starman covers the same distance a car would take almost two weeks to drive. Imagine leaving New York for Los Angeles, a trip of about 4,500 kilometers. By car, you'd spend around 40 to 45 hours without stopping. Starman would do it in just over two minutes. In other words, while a car would cross the United States in almost two days, Starman would already be millions of kilometers ahead heading into deep space. And here's our main reflection. What if you decided to take your car and try to reach Mars? Of course, it's impossible in practice. There's no road, no gas station, no shoulder in space. But as a thought experiment, it's a fascinating question. How far are we from Mars? And how long would it take if you simply drove in a straight line at 100 kilometers per hour, like a regular road trip? Before answering, you need to understand one detail. The distance between Earth and Mars isn't fixed. Both orbit the Sun, each with its own speed and path. Sometimes Earth and Mars are relatively close, separated by about 54 million kilometers. This happens during so-called oppositions, when the two planets are aligned so that Mars is on the opposite side of Earth from the Sun. At other times, however, they can be on completely different sides of their orbits, as much as 400 million kilometers apart. On average, the distance hovers around 225 million kilometers. Now that we have the numbers, let's imagine the trip. If your car covered 100 kilometers every hour, that means in a full day, non-stop, you'd do 2,400 kilometers. In a year, considering 365 days, you'd reach about 876,000 kilometers. Sounds like a lot? It does, but next to space distances, it's practically nothing. Let's do the math together. In the best case scenario, when Mars is 54 million kilometers away, the drive would take about 62 years. In other words, even if you started young, you'd hardly see the red planet before the end of your life. On the average distance of 225 million kilometers, the time would be roughly 257 years. That means several generations would be needed inside the car. Great-grandchildren, great-great-grandchildren, and still no one would see the end of the trip. And in the worst-case scenario, when Mars is 400 million kilometers away, it would be more than 450 years on the road. Imagine spending half a millennium behind the wheel. Back on Earth, empires would rise and fall, while on the space highway you'd still be pushing on, kilometer by kilometer, toward a destination that might not even exist in the same way by the time you arrived. That contrast is what makes Starman so fascinating. While you, at 100 kilometers per hour, would take centuries, the Tesla Roadster travels at a speed that pushed it millions and millions of kilometers past Mars in a matter of months. 
Elon Musk's car, with no wheels turning and no engine running, moves at such a surreal pace that it compresses centuries of driving into mere moments on the cosmic scale. Here's a bigger reflection. Space forces us to change our notion of time and distance. We're used to trips lasting minutes, hours, maybe a few days. A 10-hour international flight already feels long, but in space, we talk about months, years, centuries. The scale is so enormous that we can only grasp it by making analogies with what we know. If it were possible to drive to Mars, it would be like inheriting a car from your ancestors, being born, living, and dying in it, and still leaving the task unfinished for the next generations. It would be a generational journey, something science fiction has imagined with massive spacecraft like traveling cities cutting through interstellar emptiness. And in a way, this thought experiment shows how we're still in our infancy when it comes to space exploration. Today, even with modern rockets, the trip to Mars takes six to nine months. That sounds like a lot, but compared to the centuries we'd need in a regular car, it's a gigantic leap. And even so, that time frame is still a challenge for human survival. Radiation, lack of gravity, scarcity of resources, all of this makes the journey to the Red Planet one of the greatest trials humanity has ever faced. But the most incredible part is that this dream isn't far off. The same SpaceX that launched Starman plans to use its starship to take humans to Mars in the near future. What today is pure imagination, driving a car to another planet, could turn into reality, not with wheels, but with rockets crossing millions of kilometers in the vacuum of space. NASA also has its own plans to set foot on the red planet. And when you think about it, this comparison with an ordinary car is almost poetic. It shows how humanity went from stone paths to modern highways and now dreams of opening routes in space. Our story as a species is marked by movement, by journeys, by the urge to explore what lies beyond. And Mars is just the next curve on this endless road. Now you know. If you could set off driving toward the red planet without stopping for a single second, it would take about 257 years on average to get there. It's the kind of trip that even imagination struggles to sustain for long, because space is simply too vast. Meanwhile, Starman keeps drifting alone at more than 120,000 kilometers per hour, a silent reminder that we've already begun to leave our mark beyond Earth. It's just a lost car, but it's also a symbol. An invitation to look up and realize that no matter how immense the universe is, the journey has already begun. And you, would you be willing to take on a journey like that, even if you never saw the end? If this everyday life comparison impressed you, subscribe to the channel. Here you'll find other creative ways to understand space, always with clear and surprising explanations. Leave your like, share this video with that curious friend, and keep traveling the universe with me even if, by car, we'll never reach Mars. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next video.